<laughs> Good afternoon, YouTube. Yeah, so that's the Triplite APS. This is the 1012 SW. So it's the 1000 watt 12 volt inverter. Down here in the user's manual, they give this uh, inverter conditions and a load capacity. And so they talk about load capacity of 110 to 129 percent. So that would be 1100 to 1290 watts. The alarm will beep and the inverter says it should shut down after 60 seconds, but that means it should operate for 59 seconds in that overload and then 130 to 149 percent the alarm will be on constant and it should operate up to 10 seconds in that condition and then between 150 and 200 percent is the maximum overload it should operate for a second i wanted to see if that's true so let's check that out this is the up here is the DC current going into the inverter and then down here I have on the bottom is a P3 kilowatt meter reading the watts right now I'm running my home heater and that's taking 120 watts on the upper left corner is my trimetric meter and what I'm gonna do is turn on this heat gun and it's around about 1,050 watts, so that should put us up to around 1,200 watts, more or less. And we'll, we should be able to run that for up to a minute. So I will uh, go over here, and I've got some heat shrink tubing, and we'll see how this goes. So it'll probably beep, make a lot of noise. Hopefully it's just the intermittent beep, which says we're under 130% overload. And we'll see how it goes. Yeah, and there we go. It was running over 1200 watts and that was a pretty good portion of a minute. I was doing some heat shrink tubing on some uh, shift linkage parts that I make. And we did that on solar power. After a minute of beeping like that, the inverter will shut off. So here I've got a little five inch bench grinder. That, and then I've got this uh, heat gun that pulls a little over a kilowatt. So we're gonna try adding those two loads in combinations and see if the inverter can uh, operate under an overload condition. So let's see, what I want to do is I'll turn on the bench grinder. So we're at 23 amps and 240 watts. Now I'll plug in the heat gun. So you can see now we're over 130%. And so that was the 130% load. I guess we exceeded it for 10 seconds. So you can see the inverter shut down. I just powered it back up. It does what it says it's supposed to. Because so I think it's the DC current that is what it senses. Because I noticed the uh, DC current was over 130 amps, so that's probably the 130 percent. And yeah, it did run that for I guess 10 seconds, and it shut itself down, and then it powered right back up. Yeah, so that looks like it works. We tested a uh, 110 to 129 percent overload, and then we tried the 130 to 150 percent overload. And that ran, I guess, for 10 seconds and shut down. The inverter seems to live up to its specifications. Yeah, I've been real happy with this unit. So that's the Triplite APS 1012 SW. So 1000 watt, 12 volt inverter. Handles a surge up to 2000 watts and can take 100 
30% overload for a minute, which is pretty handy. And I like the fact that the manufacturer provides this sort of data so you actually know what the limits are. If you check out uh, NeuralNAR24's channel, he tests a bunch of inverters and uh, he finds that a lot of them, you know, a 2,000 watt inverter has a 2,000 watt surge rating. I'll put a link to my solar power playlist in the upper right hand corner. If you haven't already, you can subscribe to my channel, link in the lower right. Any questions, uh, put that in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching.